Hi! In this video, I'm going to show you how we can duplicate our Google Forms. So for example, you're all set. Nakagawa ka na ng quiz, survey, or test sa Google Forms mo. And all you need to do is to send this out to your students. So for example, you're a teacher who is handling four classes. So if you're going to send this form to all of your students in all of your classes, ang mangyayari niyan, sama-sama lahat ng scores nila sa iisang file. Let me show you how it looks like. So this is already the downloaded file of our students. Let's say, for example, some students already answered my quiz or test. And you can see here in the first column, our timestamp. And then we have the score and the name of our students. And just like I've said, sama-sama lahat ng students ko coming from the four classes that I'm handling. So kung meron tayong 40 students per class, may ipon lahat sa isang file ang scores nila. So kung ayaw mo na mangyari na sama-sama ang score sa mga students mo in one file from all of your sections or from all of your classes, what we could do is to duplicate our file or the Google Form and make one for each class. Alright, so paano natin siya gagawin? First, all you need to do is to click this uh, free dots sa taas and choose make a copy. So here, you can see that we are going to make a copy of the document or the Google Form. So, ang gagawin ko na lang, I will make a copy for each class. Lalagyan ko na lang ng pangalan ng section ng mga classes ko. And, click OK. So, as you can see here, I already have a separate Google Form for one class, for Grade 10 Captain America. Okay? And I'm going to send this link to my students under this class. So if we have three other classes, we'll just make another copy for the rest of the classes. Okay, so as you can see here, I already made a copy of the test for each class. So I have here one class, Captain America. I have here another form for Grade 10 4, another form for Grade 10 Iron Man, and another form for Grade 10 Spider-Man. So kapag ginawa natin to, sama-sama na yung scores sa mga bata natin per section. So we just have to be careful to send the right form, the right link, to the right GC or to the right class. So what if you would like to share this form, this copy of the test, to your co-teachers? Let's say this is a pre-test, a diagnostic test, or a summative test, and all of the teachers in the grade level or in the department will be using the same test. Okay, so how can we share this Google Form to our co-teachers? So what we could do here is we could go to our drive. Again, all of our Google Forms are being saved in our drive. Right-click sa form na isha-share natin. Let's choose Get Shareable Link. Okay, and let's make sure na hindi siya restricted. And let's change it to anyone with the link. Now let's copy the link. Let's make another tab and paste it. Again, I copy the link and I open another tab. As you can see here, the last part, we have edit sharing. Now, we need to change this. Okay, yung last part, we're going to change edit sharing to copy. Okay? And enter. Okay. So, if you're going to send this link, this new link, sa mga co-teachers natin, they will see this, okay? Asking if they would like to make a copy of the test. So, they could make a copy on their own. Let's say, I received this link and I'm going to make a copy of my own for my class. So, I can easily make a copy. So, there you go. Meron na tayong copy of the English test. And pwede natin siyang paltan, customize, let's say, talaga ko ng pangalan ko, Teacher A, English Pretend Test. At ito yung isa-send ko sa klase ko. So, yan, makikita natin sa Google Drive natin na si Teacher A, gumawa siya ng copy ng test natin. At in this way, hindi niya gagamitin yung same form natin. Hindi niya maapektuhan, kung let's say may inedit siya or may binago siya, hindi na niya mababago yung original form natin which is this one. So yun nga lang, every time that a teacher is going to make a copy of your Google Form, let's say, sampu yung teachers, so si Teacher A, si Teacher B, C, D, E, F, 
sila ay gagawa lahat ng copy ng pre-test. So lahat yan lalabas sa Google Drive mo. So better yet, mas maganda na merong separate na Gmail account ang isang department, ang isang grade level, or isang group para doon nalang gagawin yung mga common test or standardized test for that specific subject or grade level. Para hindi lang sa isang tao na iipon yung lahat ng copies of the Google Forms. So that's it. Thank you so much po for watching. Sana po ay may natutunan kayo.